I'm pretty close to a First Amendment absolutist. The First Amendment is a check on the power of the state. It doesn't apply to private companies like Facebook or Twitter. Well, the former president uh, calling unregulated social media a threat to democracy, telling them to, quote, pick a side of government regulation or better policing the speech on their sites. Social media companies already make choices about what is or is not allowed on their platforms and how that content appears. The problem is we often don't know what principles govern those decisions. Well, Obama's comments sounding very similar to the rhetoric coming from liberals opposed to Elon Musk bid to take over Twitter, uh, like Washington Post columnist Max Boot, who agreed with Obama, saying Obama is right, which is why Elon Musk, who claims that there's too much content moderation rather than too little, is the last person who should be running Twitter. Yeah, but is this crackdown more than just trying to silence conservatives or Democrats looking for a scapegoat? If, as predicted, they lose in November in the midterm elections, or are they looking for allies and silencing the voices on yeah. the right as we approach the 2020, uh, 2024 election, yeah. presidential election, yeah. right down the road? Okay, so exactly what are the Democrats up to? Let's ask the CEO of Getter and former Trump senior advisor, mm -hmm. Jason Miller. Uh, Jason, you know something about social media, being involved with it. Um, what do you think is going on here? Because correct me if I'm wrong, um, Mr. Obama is all for free speech except for certain people. Exactly. And that's where we've seen these progressive politicians, doesn't matter if it's Joe Biden or Barack Obama or Justin Trudeau, the more progressive you are, what seemingly is happening, the more totalitarian you are. And so Obama really seemed to be channeling his inner, whether it be uh, his inner George Orwell, of saying free speech for some, if we agree with you, but if there is any dissenting thought, then no, we're going to go and shut it down. And I think this is really concerning because what Obama ultimately was getting at is that if you have a differing perspective, if you're in the center or center right, then you should not have the same free speech rights as other people. The reason why people are frustrated with big tech isn't because they think that uh, Twitter is is too clunky or it's not a good technology. The reason why they're upset with big tech is because they're politically discriminating based on your ideology. Yeah, and what about that? Just from your experience, uh, Jason, you know, um, developing and, and expanding Getter, uh, what type, and I know you won't get into the details of it, but what, what type of conversations do you have uh, when it comes to creating or joining big tech um, from Democrats? Yeah, well, the, the conversations that we have is there have to there has to be a safe space uh, okay. where people can actually go and exchange their political ideas and we can have some back and forth. And what we can't do is have people being treated differently or say moderated differently mm -hmm. based on their political ideology. But do, is there it an just, effort? Have you has anyone pressured you to censor certain types of speech, whether it be, you know, uh, Republicans or Democrats? No. And no. I think part of this is, is we've set the, the predicate at the beginning. Here are our terms of service at the getter.com website. We have our community guidelines, which lay out how we keep people safe. You can't go and say, put out threatening behavior as if you're going to go and hurt someone or no ISIS videos, those types of things. But we always have an ideological North Star. It says, how are we protecting free speech and opposing cancel culture? And because everyone from the moderators at the very beginning all the way up to the CEO share that value set, we're always guided by how are we protecting and ensuring free speech, which is a much different approach than saying, what can we limit? What can we crack down on? Ah. Yeah, Jason, now here, here's what strikes me, is that the, the what's it called? Rule 230 which essentially for social media, you can't be sued for something put on your website. And that's like this magic rule that means that um, a Twitter can put something out there. Facebook can put something out there and, and they're not liable for it, which means they don't have to censor. Yet they are censoring. And in fact, Mr. Obama is pointing out that free speech does not apply to Twitter, does not apply to Facebook. And that, uh, and so the suggestion is, it's okay if they censor certain people, and we've seen what that has been over the past few years. 
You know, you hit on something really important here. So the 1996 Communications Decency Act, which there's Section 230, which back then was set up to govern blogs. So they wanted to encourage people to debate and exchange ideas on the internets, uh, which of course is uh, in, in the foresight, um, absolutely was right. This is the, the free marketplace, the town square, so to speak, where debates are happening. What's really going on behind the scenes Companies like Twitter and Facebook and YouTube are using Section 230 to hide behind their political discrimination in picking winners and losers in free speech. Section 230 is critical because we have to make sure that we keep those town squares available, but it cannot be something that these big tech companies can hide behind. How I wanna see it reformed is make it, if you're exercising political discrimination, one group gets one set of rights, another group gets another set, depending on the ideologies, then I think you should lose your Section 230 status. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and yet we know that those on the left are not in favor of that because Silicon Valley, where are they from? Where was Obama yeah. yesterday? Right in the heart of Silicon Valley. Where's Nancy Pelosi from? Right mm -hmm. near Silicon Valley. So that's why we haven't seen that. And I assume there's some money flowing to them as a result. Well